Okay, this is a video that I'm making of the underside of the dash. Just to sort of uh, get a look at some of the electrical in here. <clears throat> Not really sure what I'm seeing. But um, this right here is the the back of the the radio. Apparently it's an old tube radio. Which uh, you turn it on and you have to let it warm up before you start using it. <clears throat> before it starts turning on. The the instruments the instrument uh, panel in the inside like uh, um um like the, the, the dashboard cluster uh, instrument gauges they're all hooked up they're 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 these ones right here those are those new ones that were were in the, the video that I made earlier so those ones are hooked up so I guess the other ones are not working and I guess that's why it's hooked up. So that's the back of what the original uh, instrument cluster looks like. And again, not really sure what I'm seeing, but I guess these, these metal, metal, you know, cable covers, I guess that's kind of one of the things that I showed you the other day in my uh, speedometer a, ca a cable and housing assembly that was in that box. So, um, so what I'm seeing here, it looks like the wires to some of these, you know, instrument clusters up here. I'm not really sure exactly. Okay, so that would be right there. So on the other side, I guess that would be that. Whatever that was. I can't see the camera, so I can't really tell you what it was. But uh, it looks like everything is... Let me see if I can just jam this in here. Looks like everything looks like it's pretty healthy looking. Like those wires, they all look pretty good. Right? I'm not an electrician or anything, so I don't really know. But, um... Yeah. Well, I guess that's a splice right there with that little black... Little black uh, connector. That thing. That's a splice. Looks like that wire right there looks pretty old. I just want to be gentle with all this other stuff. I don't want to break anything. And there's a fuse right there. This is some old wire uh, connector covers. It's nice to see. But I do notice that this, this line right here that goes to this. This which is the middle one. The middle one has a small cable on it that's filled with fluid. There's a big, a big airlock in it though. So I'm not really sure. Not really sure where it goes. Can't really tell. Um, uh, this is kind of uncomfortable back here. Being upside down. Let me see if I can move some of those spider webs away so you can see a little bit better. That looks pretty old and worn. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff in here that looks pretty old and worn. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. Couldn't tell you. But, um, yeah. Who knows? Uh, who really knows? So I guess that was the... Maybe the, the temperature that I was tapping at, or maybe the cigarette lighter, or maybe the ignition. I'm not really too sure. I'm pretty sure it wasn't for the ashtray. Pretty sure there's no wiring that's needed for the ashtray. So, uh, yeah. Not really too sure. That seems to be a thing I say quite a lot in my videos. Not really too sure. That's okay. I'm, I'm still just learning, I guess. What's this connector? Maybe what this is is a, uh, um, 
12 V, it's like it says 12 volt. Made in USA. Well, it's got to be good then if it's made in USA. I guess. Oh, what's this here? I guess that's just a end. So I guess I guess what's going on here? Oh, I guess that's the oil. That that tube with the it looked like reddish. Maybe uh, it kind of. I mean, the only fluid I've ever seen that's reddish is uh, transmission fluid. But then again, I don't know a lot about fluids, so. Yeah, I I just drank them, you know. That's about it. But um, but um, yeah, that was the oil. That was the oil. That that was. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. Well. I got a wiring diagram. I got a wiring diagram uh, from the internet, which is helpful. Um, it's kind of a kind of an odd-looking page of uh, drawings. Not really sure. There it is again. Not really sure what it uh, what it all means, but uh, we'll see. We'll we'll see. We'll t we'll take uh, take some time, do some studying, do some learning, and uh, yeah. Okay, so I guess that's it for this video. Um, I sure would like to uh, get rid of all this junk and get this wonderful stuff in here working again. You know, like this is one of the big nice things about this car. You know, it's just one of the nicest things about this car. The Rambler, right? Okay, that's what's good. That's... You know, making it work, but it's not what I want. So I'm going to try extra hard. Really buckle down for me. Buckle down for myself. And uh, do do some, uh, some, some learning and some work. And get this nice old Rambler back on the road. <clears throat> yeah. Put this back up here. Oh, another weird thing I saw that I think I can mention. <clears throat> is uh, yesterday when I was over at the car with my sister before we went out and got pizza. This is the back seat, okay? Right down here on the floor, there was like a big puddle of water. But I don't know where it came from because I don't think it came from here. I don't think it came from here. This was turned over. It was like turned upside down. There was all these droplets of water in there. And there was also droplets of water kind of coming from what looked like the springs. I don't really know if that makes a lot of sense. But, um, yeah, I don't really know why there would be a puddle of water down there. And also a little bit of water down there. I think you can still kind of see that it's damp. But, you know, there's like a, a waterproof tarp. There's a, a waterproof tarp that is completely covering the car. Not now because it took it off to get the light inside so that I can show you the wires and stuff. But this this car is completely covered with a waterproof tarp. Okay. It's completely covered with waterproof tarp, and I would have no idea why there would be water inside the car. You know, I just don't get it. One thing I'm, one thing I'm really happy about is that in here, like, these seals against the window, these seals are crap, right? And so the water just gets inside. But since I've had that waterproof tarp on, that hasn't been happening, which is really good, right? I'm really happy about that. But I just don't understand why there would be water down there on the inside of the passenger footrest. I don't get it. I, don't, I just don't get it. Anyways, but I'm not going to lose sleep over it. Uh, I think the next part that I'm going to... The next video I'm going to make for you guys is I'm going to get underneath the car. And I'm going to show you what the underneath of the car looks like and the rust spots underneath there. And uh, some of the repairs the previous owner did, which are pretty hilarious. But, uh, yeah. Okay. Alright, I'll talk to you guys... At another time and make another video about uh the, the 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 rambler yeah rambler part four all right guys take care thanks for watching bye bye